Spider Sister back with another free balloon animal tutorial for you guys this week. Today is actually World Music Day. So we have a worldwide kind of off different holiday that everyone can celebrate. And we're going to celebrate it today by making a music note balloon. So this is a good design to know just in case you might ever need it. I've personally used this in decor that I've done. Uh, you can do it for adult parties, especially they really kind of like um, everything to be on a headband. <laughs> and who doesn't love music? So you can always pop a music note on top of someone's head and they'll love it. Plus the design's really simple, fast and easy to make only using two balloons. So I've got a, I'm going to be using purple today just so it's a little bit easier to see on camera, but this looks great in any color, especially black, of course. So I've got one 260 balloon. I've inflated to about a three to four inch tail. And I also have a five inch round in the matching color, which I'm going to go ahead and inflate now. And you want to inflate this a little bit over full to where it starts making this cone shape at the base. And I'm going to just let a little bit of air out here so it's not too full. Okay, so right about like that. And I'm going to actually take my 260 and we're going to tie both balloons together using the nozzles. So just double knot that. Once you have those tied together, we're going to do two pinch twists on our 260 here. So small round bubble, fold it over, pull out that round bubble, twist it around itself your first pinch twist and then a second pinch twist. Now you're going to squeeze your balloon a little bit, soften it up, do another small round bubble and make this one a pinch twist as well. So you're just going to kind of pull that one out by itself, twist it around itself. Okay, so you've got two pinch twists here. We're going to take our remaining balloon and it's going all the way around the round balloon here. So squeeze it out so it's nice and soft and not too over full and we're just going to wrap it all the way around that round balloon back into our pinch twist. So once you get back there, just going to take it, pinch it and fold it in. Okay, so we should have something like this. Of course, it kind of looks like a TikTok logo now that I'm looking at it. Um, but we're going to finish this off by making it an eighth note. I'm trying to remember my band days. Now I'm going to try to get my pinch twists lined up like this. So they're one on top of the other and that and squeeze this 260 out here. So it's a little bit, well, a lot thinner at the base here. And that will give you a nice straight part of the note here. I do not know what this part of the note is called, if it even has a name, but you want this stick part to be straight and going up straight as much as possible. Um, here you could actually decide what kind of note this is going to be. So if you made two like this and then you connected them across the top, you have that double eighth note thing. I don't remember my music classes at all. Um, and so I'm just going to do a single uh, music note here. So we're going to come up about a foot or so, however big you want it to be. And then on the top here, I'm going to do two pinch twists here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> two pinch twists here as well so that we can really angle this little tail part of the music note and get it kind of going down instead of just sticking straight out like this. We sort of want it to be going down like this. So let's put our two pinch twists. So there's one. Twist that around. And the last one. Two. Okay, so again with the pinch twist, you want them to be stacked one on top of the other so that you can really get a nice angle on this part of your music note. And you can see we've got our uh, remaining balloon here filled out just about perfectly. And what I'm going to do to finish this off is give this part of our music note a little bit of shape, a little bit of curve. So we're going to kind of zigzag it like a lightning bolt and give it some good squeeze in and that's going to fill out our balloon all the way through the rest of it. So there's no uninflated part on the end there. And then you have a nice little curvy shape on your music note. Isn't that cool? And this is a great design because it looks the same uh, either way you're looking at it. So it's good for centerpieces. Um, there's no like back and front part of this. 
Uh, if you really want to step it up a notch, you can get some glitter hairspray. Spray these things with glitter for your centerpieces or decor pieces or however you're incorporating the music note into your design and that'll add some shine and pizzazz. So I hope that you guys like this design. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to see photos of your music note balloons this week over in our free Facebook group. A link is in the description for you to join us over there. If you're heading off to any musical themed parties or music festivals this summer and you want to add this design to your balloon twisting menu so people know that you offer this, I've got clip art ready and available for you to go grab over at the Twister Sister Studio store. Or if you want to get all the clip art for a really great deal, you can join the Clip Art Vault membership um, and get access to all of the clip art. Or even better, if you really want to take your balloon twisting up to the next level and get some business advice, all of my tutorials and DVDs and so many resources for balloon twisters, Consider joining us in the Twister Hood. I give everything away to my Twister Hood members, um, and it's just a fantastic community of supportive Twisters who are all helping each other and growing together in their balloon businesses. So I hope to see you in one of those three places very soon. Until then, uh, be looking forward to next week where I'll have another free balloon animal tutorial for you guys. Bye, everyone. Have a great week.